Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kazurai! I'm your host, Mr. United States of America, which is Yellow Lover, but currently we're doing a maritime industry and we're kind of just hanging out. We're still at war with the god dang on top, but we're also at war with Costa Rica. We had to naval invade them because the Central American Confederation, well, they never wanted to be called arms, which really sucks, but oh well, we naval invaded them. Also, I did install the mod or download the mod like fast war justification, so it takes like 25 days to go to war with people now, which is... Super nice. Super, 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 super nice. Uh, gotta talk about something else. And... There you go. Thank you. I didn't realize there was a, no line here, so... And then... And there you go. Cool. Because we can go to war with Panama? Yes, we can. And then... Let's follow up with Colombia, maybe? Venezuela. Venezuela's a little easier to take out. 40 days. Cool. 40 is so much better than what it was earlier. And we still have a lot of guys in in the ocean, just doing, patrolling, good stuff like that. Um, and where are we at? Ah, Columbia, Jim of the Ocean, of course. Following our extensive investments into naval research and construction, we have regained and replaced one of the world's leading naval powers. Anchors away. We'll do some comments go through as well. But let's see. Panama. Of course, our army's not that big, but the, really the big goal is to get a massive navy. So maybe we should invest in a few more of these. There you go. Massive, 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 massive navy. Do we have some marines now too, which is very nice. Do we have some cavalry, just like the infantry? It's pretty much just like the infantry. I might throw on signal companies actually. Give them a slightly better uh, initiative and stuff. You guys go there, and then oh no, you guys actually go. Doesn't really matter. You guys go there. It's fine. All right, thank you, Panama. <sighs> Looking even better now. <clears throat> but did they join? No, they haven't capitulated yet. Okay. Well then, whatever. Oh, there's a in France, invaded there. Uh, Venezuela. They will try to invade there. And then, Pathfinder, you will go from here to there. And then you three will go from... Uh, I don't know if they're going to actually come into the, to the war with us, so... How about right... There. <clears throat> Something like that. And the Oh Shanti? No, Panama. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So now we can do this. I'm gonna wait for this thing to pop up. And go still under there. And interrogation techniques are very nice. And then we go to war them too. That should be great. There we go. As we should still be cutting down on a lot of resistance, making these cores. Which should be good for the nation. Good for the nation. Cape Verde, Guinea, and Panama. Here we go, Costa Rica. Glorious, our glorious army corps march through the land, now occupy the capital of the former Costa Rican government. We, however, can't have the situation last so long, so we should do. You know what? You know what I hate about this so much? And I should have realized this earlier. <clears throat> we cannot annex our puppets. I always forget about that. But I hate that so much. I just hate, 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 hate that so much. These guys... <clears throat> The independence movements of Cape Verde and Guinea have always been very linked. As the phone sisters, I think I read this earlier, it's not only natural that once liberated from Portugal they did seek to join, joint independence. How about the administration of the region? Should we consider releasing them as well as satellites? Uh, isn't this? Um, you know what? Just keep it under us for now. We'll deal with it. And the fate of Panama. After a rapid campaign around the Panama Canal, we finally managed to shatter the Panamanian defenses. Panama Sea is now in our hands. We must sign the future of Panama. And the liberal government retain ownership of the canal, of course. Yeah, keep the canal and give Panama to Central American allies. That's fine. That gun is finished. With the final wing finally finished. The War Department's finally found its own home and building uh, now sports a reinforced concrete structure using 680,000 tons of sand dredged from the Potomac River in Indiana limestone for the building's facade. It occupies 28.7 acres and includes an additional 5.1 acres at the central courtyard. With the hallways being so large that messengers are being issued with roller skates and bikes to speed up messaging between offices. Our national defense better be assured from now on. Well, we'll see about that. Advances. I guess even over there yet. We have a lot of ships out of date. But yeah, we're really going to be producing a lot of ships and going to go to war with a lot of people. So, who knows? Maybe actually we'll have another episode after this. Actually, you can tell. You can tell this is the finale or not. So, um, got some coffee or two. Nothing up there. Oh, look at this. Yes. Yes, please. We need so much more chromium. Which we probably will go to war with the Reich's Pact. Because we need Cuba. Or whatever group that can give us a lot of chromium. So, eventually, hold threes. Which are not even making yet, which I think is a mistake, but I do want some advanced subs. These sub-3s would be very good. 
And then again, it's not like we have a lot of uh, naval XP, so. Which does suck. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Can we go to war? Can y'all go? Yes, you can. Oh, we're still just fighting these guys. Columbia? No, that's fine. Yeah, I know I'll have more naval battles to do, which is great. Of course, the Wendy's, West Indies is under us as well. Oh, heck, war. 4th of July, there you go. Happy 4th of July. Um, do we want to go to war with 3rd International? We're already at war with the Entente. We'll see. Oh, is there just one Marine there? Where are the other Marines? Bro. Why are you taking so long to get over there? Good ding dongs. Massive defense. Did you guys actually land or no? No, you did not land. Oh, that sucks. Here, now do that. God dang it. <clears throat> That's dumb. My bad. Probably lost a lot of guys in that uh, fight. Uh, actually, not that many. Like 1100, maybe? Gym of the Ocean. That's a little bit ahead of time. Actually, let's grab this one. Most of the computer's fine. That one, and then. Go with. Everything requires so much steel. Subs. Keep going with subs. Oh, actually, no, no. Do, do not do that. Radar 4, better torpedoes. No, that's not bad. Ah, oh, screw it, get rid of you guys. There you go. Lots of subby boys. I love them subbies. That's fine. And then. Uh, we'll talk about that stuff. Experimental thing. New nationalism? This new nationalism regards executive power as a steward of the public welfare. It demands the judiciary that it shall be interested primarily in human welfare rather than property. Just as it demands that the representative bodies shall represent all the people rather than any one class or section of the people. Followed up with strength and democracy. While democracy in and of itself is not a flawed concept, the failings of the crony capitalism that permeated the old systems were laid before laid bare by the Civil War. We need sure that that democracy now works for everybody. There we go. Yep, as long as we keep sinking convoys, that's the main way we're going to win this war. Sinking ships, sinking convoys. Oh, more military factors? Nice. I guess you can get some mechanized if you really want it. Uh, go there, go there. Way more cast, way more fighters. That'll be fine. <clears throat> Guns, I don't think it's going to be an issue at all. But it could be very wrong. Alright, so you're going to force the attack. Now, now we're the really, really actually now. The Marines are here, which is very good. Venezuela. Oh, they're also Social Democrats, huh? Well, they're not the correct type of Social Democrats. We'll put it like that. There you go. Nice. Very good. Very good. So, you guys come here, too. You're gonna land? Uh, here-ish? Gonna push out. I should have navally invaded with, uh, the other type of thing. Come on, land, 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 land. Oh, it's in the mountains, that sucks too. There you go. Caracas. Link up with them over there, if you can. Yes, please, thank you. Hey, nice. Good job, guys. As we're slowly getting attacked. So be it. Help them out. Very good. You guys help them out too. Boom, boom, boom. That'd be nice. There you go. Not bad. And this gives us a very good holding into South America. Hello, good sir. You have something we want, and that is your land. Oh, we're so close to linking up. So close. There we go. Hey, Venezuela's gone. Nice. Go in. Go in. Go in. You guys go ahead. You know, you force the attack. I'm not too worried about them. These motorized are pretty good. Put some combat with a lot of trucks just trucking all over the place. Venezuela. Alright, so how's the Third International looking? They're actually coming back with a vengeance. That's kind of nuts to see. Portugal is our puppet, which means we have to defend them first. <clears throat> Actually, we can invade these guys, invade Third International, and they can invade right there as well. As my voice is going for some reason. <clears throat> I don't understand my voice now. It's all getting all whoopy whoopy. I'm not sure what whoopy whoopy means, but it's getting whoopy. 
Alright, over here. Light ships. I don't know. I've never used destroyers. Um, you can use some of that. That's fine for now. Australian Union continues to more. The Australian government pursuing a revanchist policy, which it calls Anderson Doctrine, has laid a claim on the island of Timor. Uh, while they said that the island is integral to the uh, security head needs heads needs, uh, truly they have no claim to it, and this is merely further evidence of the expansionist imperialistic policies. Outrageous and bunch, what a bunch of reds. Nice. There you go. Uh, anything here? Combine arms? No, you're good. Disperse industries? Nice. Get some extraction. We need a lot of political power from here on out so we can start coring more stuff. Or, uh, raising stability, put it like that. Weapons for resistance. Uh, we can grab that one. That'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be pretty good, actually. And you guys, go ahead. Go ahead. Just go in. You'll be fine. Nice. What are we missing? Heavy hulls? That's fine. No one cares. Central America? Yeah. Thank you, Central America. Colombia. Oh yeah, I could put herbs as well. Quito. Down the good old Quito. <clears throat> Excuse me. New Zealand is gone? Oh, okay. But we have some coffee. Nice and warm coffee. Can I form Grand Colombia? I think I would prefer Grand Colombia in all honesty. 15 days, not bad. Just use motorized. I know we have hills and mountains here down here, but still. Still. Alright, so that's a mind. We should be able to make it all the way over here, right? Especially now we're getting a lot more subs. So that mine, I should be able to send you guys over here, right? All right, Venezuela and Colombia. I definitely, definitely, definitely want. I don't mind releasing some puppets, but at the same time, I'm not sure how much how many puppets I actually want. Uh, do we have an airbase here? Probably we'll get an airbase here. Get two. Uh, maybe expand the ports a little bit more, something like that. And then you guys help us out with this down here, and then this goes over here, and then that'd be fine. Because these guys are in the third international. These guys are all in the third international, which that's a lot of South America to take out. I was thinking, trying to sing a lot of convoys. A couple comments included. Uh, someone says, enter, "Let's enter the fray with Japan." So that I want one, or just go to war with Japan. Enter the fray. I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should go with "Enter the fray" or "Fortress America." Someone else said, uh, "Racism towards members of the Malay race in the U.S." I did not see that coming. Someone else says, "Can you redo the Aryan Brotherhood or uh, re-upload the third episode?" I'd like to redo them again someday when I get some more content or re. Focus, repolish content. Um, the reason why I did not have the third episode uploaded, or you cannot see the third uh, episode, is b just because uh, that third video of me playing as the Aryan Brotherhood and TNO got literally got me a strike, and that's why it's taken down. And you cannot see it. I literally got uh, a strike from YouTube. So it is what it is. So that's why my video times usually aren't as edgy as they used to be, because Mama Susan, she doesn't like me very much. She doesn't like how much fun we can have on the channel. And give it a bad day. There you go. Okay. Strength of democracy. <clears throat> Labor Relations Act. For relations between the owners and working class was a major spark for the Civil War. We need to annex or enact a legislation that will ensure workers are protected from exploitation. Social Security. A modern social security system will help the elderly be able to retire in peace and financial security and generate a great deal of popular support for our administration. It's all that matters. Popular support. I want a lot, a lot of motorized. That's a hole. I mean, this would be bad to invest in, but we don't have the Neo XP for that right now, so probably not. For these guys, it's not bad. It's not great, but not bad. We could probably do that. Uh, level 3. Still fine. Just get some more dual purposes. And, uh, to a purpose, that'd be fine. Big ol' ship it is. We ship a lot here. 
We've already better already, yes. Wow, we're doing quite a bit. I do not understand how the Rocks Pact is not one yet. Oh, para kutin friends send one para garikitiro. Well, our specials assure us that the eruption of the, the volcano is nearing its end. The town of San Juan, the Parangare Curtiro, with nearly 2,000 inhabitants, is now on the path of lava. Thankfully, the Major was already preparing a backup plan in case the volcano threatened the town, but our help would still be appreciated. The town and its inhabitants will shout really low to Old Conos, Conjos uh, Farmstead. Nearly 30 kilometers away from the original location of the town, President Henry Wallace has praised the Major for his foresight, and the relocation efforts are already underway. Let's hope this ends soon. I don't know, fighting the mountain sucks, especially with motorized, but whatever. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Hey, the guys made it. Nice. Uh, supply wise, it's looking not very good, though. Um, do we need more supply base here? Probably, yeah. And all I see, we probably do. Cool. More Marines? Nice. Ecuador's gone. I remember asking them that. But okay then. Seriously, can I just have Grand Columbia? Or Columbia. Um, I mean, I, yeah, but whatever. I know I really Central America, but at the same time, I like the yellow right now. I don't know. I wish. I want less puppets. Or at least, I wouldn't mind releasing puppet governments if we could actually have, like, real puppet governments. Probably a really bad idea to do this, but whatever. I don't really want to go to war with them until Third International is like really, really getting ready to die. So you guys are just kind of hanging out over there. But I need to invade roughly Morocco. Uh, but they're over oh, the uh, Reichs Pact. Well, it's either the Third International or the Reichs Pact. Either one. <clears throat> Looks like. Max is doing quite well. And the Entente, though. Coffee's pretty good, though. That's why I slurp slurp. Labor Relations, Social Security, <clears throat> Medicare. Medicare is a radical new piece of legislation proposed by leading farmer labor politicians and will enable our poor citizens to get the medical treatment they need. This is a good thing. Shell dies. Get that one, too. Or just go to war with Third International and capitulate them. But I want to kill. I, I want to kill these guys all first. And honestly, I want to kill them all first. Fall of Riga. Oh boy. Can you guys actually? Whoa! You have to go all. Oh no. Yeah no. Um. Yeah, we have to go to war with the Reichs back, and so be it. I want to kill off the Entente. The Entente just has to die. Also, India did capitulate to the Bartia Commune, so. That'll be good. Nice, a lot of convoys selling. That's good. That there's some good stuff. And Portugal, just a war goal. Twenty days, not bad. And then you guys all join in uh, somewhere here. Yeah. Oh, Russia's doing okay. They're getting a reverse Uno car right there, huh? Fine. It's fine. Casablanca. Oh, there's some guys here. So be it. Not really, but yes. Cool. Level 3 still. Not great, not bad. Fate of Ecuador. After campaign across Ecuador, Father Man shot Ecuadorian defenses. Then in our hand, what do we do with it? We're probably going to kill ourselves with uh, stability and whatnot. Oh, it's minus 50, so I want to get the justification done first. Oh, we're not going to be able to get it done first. God dang it, we got to wait a couple days. That sucks. But the goal is to get, take out Morocco. That'd be good. We'll do Medicare. And at this point, I mean, 
there's enough support for end of the fray that will do go this way. America belongs on the world stage, and while we are hesitant to be drawn to foreign alliances, we will not hesitate to use our military might to stamp out threats around the world that will eventually find us out. Look at neighbor policy necessitates an internal program to ready arms for future conflicts. This arsenal of democracy is a present call that will enable us to supply war material to even the hardest to reach places on the other continents in service of fighting tyranny and cynicalism. And here we are at it when we take out Morocco already, and now we're invading uh, the stupid French state. Which I've never played this before at the time of this recording, which I should, probably should eventually, but not for now. No, definitely, definitely, definitely not for now. But we're still trying to get more ports, radar, roads, all of that good stuff. Oh, look, nuclear stuff. Oh, don't mind if we do. So a couple nukes here and there. Not a bad idea. So, I'm going to do an arsenal democracy still, but I just realized, well, maybe not. We get to the Japanese threat. Japanese ambitions a threat to both our nation and the common good. Time's, time's come to take a stand against it. Or, which is aligned with Japan, which might be... Quite interesting to do, actually, which I've, which I've never done before. So, the Great Pacific is not the only thing we share the, with the Japanese, but they've shown themselves to uphold the same values of democracy that we hold so dear because they are social democrats. After they aided us in the Civil War, it should be, or only be just for us to join the Japanese in their goal to, of spreading stability, democracy, and liberty in the Pacific. Yes. Liberty and democracy, yes. Uh, I do want more stability. You guys are looking pretty bad right now, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to do warp propaganda because we can, because we lost a lot of stability and war support earlier. And then eventually we will raise up to war economy. Because now we're at war with the Rex back as well, like earlier. We saw. And we've been losing a couple ships here and there. Uh, we did lose like a battleship. But it was like a Valkyrie or a battleship. So I'm not really concerned about it too much. Oh, I lost a carrier. That sucks. Wait. Oh. Huh. Well, whatever. I'm not extremely concerned about the Navy, to be honest. They'll do how, how well they'll do, so. Oh, well. Um, you all just go ahead and repair. Well, the Algier is gone. Constantine will be next. And hopefully with them, all the Entente. And the motorizers decided to show up finally. Uh, they're international. We will have to fight those guys, yeah. I was trying to build more supply bases here, too. Which, as you can tell, is really bad. Just... Oh, the Entente collapses. Hey, there you go. Very nice, very nice. Oh, we're not done with the air doctrine yet, huh? Reception, tactical bomb, uh, ground support. I like ground support. I like a lot of ground support, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, the Germans. What are they up to up here? Ah, oh, the French state. I don't want to deal with New Zealand, so let's do this real quick. Um, I'll take the French state. Yeah, I think, in all honesty, I'll just take them. I don't care what the communards want. I'll go to war with them anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Thank you very much. And then... Is Japan at war with them? No. West Indies, eh? Coming to France. I don't give these guys any score. Portugal. I do not want to deal with... Paraguay. Here. Whatever. You can have them. I don't want to deal with them. There you go. Nice. So, and going to government XL? Uh, Sukunya Silveri has finally formally requested permission from the American government to return Angola and reestablish a provisional market at Liberal Cabin in preparation for the post-war peace. Go ahead. Good job, guys. Good job. So now I gotta do the Reichs back. Convoy sunk. Nice, nice. And, oh, goodness. Oh, these guys are still fighting each other, huh? Alright, so with this in mind, you guys are over here. I'm going to put you guys over uh, under someone else. Under Marshall. For now, that'd be fine. You guys are a logistics wizard anyways. So with you guys here, um, we need, we'd have to need more divisions here. We absolutely do. That's kind of guarded around there. Oh, actually, they'll be able to slip in through here. Upper Volta. Take the motorized. It's probably a really bad idea to do this, but just do that. You guys come up here. Unless... Oh, no. Not quite yet. What do we do with these guys here? That's fine. Let's go in. It'll be fine. A lot of convoys. Fifty army XP... Or naval XP is not bad, though. That's actually quite good. Need more chromium. Central America is giving it to us. For now, Union of Brazil will take it because we need to build ships. Should be awesome, 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 possum. 
As the sub daddies are going full steam ahead. It's great. Good. Ooh. Hey, not bad. What's the war score like now? Southern Rhodesia, South Africa, pretty normal stuff. Austrian Empire, we haven't really dealt with them too much. German Empire, they lost 6 million people. Wow. Uh, we're not even on the board with them yet, so which is fine. Kind of expected, truth be told. So with this stuff. Ivory Coast. I just want one gigantic um, African puppet state. So let's liberate, I don't know, Algeria? I really don't care about Algeria that much, truth be told. Mauritania, Guinea. So we'll probably deal with that off screen maybe a little bit more. But let's read a few more books first and I'll continue doing some of the stuff. Medicare, of course. We need to do that one. Longer reach. If we project our power on the rest of the world, we must achieve the ability to do so through naval power on the beach. Our enemies must fear American soldiers landing on the shores. And to that end, we must work to ensure that we have the skill and power to take advantage of our longer reach. Working with our allies. American expertise must be put at the disposal of our allies, or at least the enemies of our enemies. If they fight better, then together we stand a chance of victory. And then the American century. The great ideological struggle for world peace has, been, has established an explosive power of the American industry and economy. America is essential to victory over tyranny and cynicalism, and will be essential in preserving world peace should we succeed. The 1944 presidential election. The political machines have roared alive all across the United States of America. Election season has driven many on all ends of the spectrum, and a craze ensured that the preferred candidate is elected at high office. Democrat nominee Sheridan Downey's everything that his predecessor, Colbert Olson, fought against. A supporter of big oil barons, he sought to secure their ability to secure state control over California's large oil reserves. While much more conservative than many in the Democratic Party, Downey played a pivotal role in the epic campaign in the early 30s, garnering support from some on the left. The Republican candidate, Earl Warren, was popular among both the major establishment parties in 1942, the gubernatorial elections. Warren cross-filled in both the Republican and Democratic primaries and ran without a party label attached to his name. His nonpartisan stance nearly allowed him to win both primaries, and when the general election rolled around, he easily swept 57% of the vote. Hoping to continue for a second term, the incumbent of the former Labor Party, Henry Wallace, has been hard at work campaigning to keep his anti-establishment movement alive. During his presidency, Wallace has worked furiously with the Agricultural Department to create an ever-normal granary in which the government purchases agricultural surplus to regulate the price of farmers. Prices in farmers' favor. Social conservatism. Or Warren or Wallace wins a day. Sadly, more uh, labor farmer labor party uh, organizations would be very, very good. Increased military spending. The Civil War devastated the American civilian industry, but has made the military industry quite a profitable enterprise. While the Civil War may be over, America still has enemies of fine wars to win. And as such, keeping the Civil War military spending and expanding upon it is best in our best interests. Rebuild the American Industrial Complex. With most of the military industrial complex in the East, the Civil War has devastated the old munitions and weapons and factories that made up America's war industry as it became high value targets for bombings and a preferred hiding spot of persistent enemy defenders. If we should be ready for the next war, investing in the rebuilding of the military industrial complex is one of our priorities, war bonds. We need adequate funding to properly fight this war. Bonds are popular of fundraising, and we can easily promote them through cartoons, films, and other popular mediums. And Colombia needs you. The figure of Colombia, a woman wearing an American flag gown and a Phrygian hat, as a personification of the ideals of freedom and pursuit of liberty, we fought so hard to achieve. With the tyrant overthrow and the radicals put down, the service of the American people to Colombia is not yet over. War looms on the horizon, and only the brave men of America can protect her and her nation from tyranny. Rethinking our tank designs. So with the Civil War I, we now have to revise the industrial measures we undertook during the war in order to enhance wartime production. One of these measures was Marshall's request for faster tanks for mass production, which came with the unfortunate drawback of being unreliable and harsh terrain, a trait which unfortunately has caused more than one headache to the newly recruited tank crews of our nation. But... Since our spending in military affairs shall be increased, some designers have approached us with newer models with better engines and suspension systems, which I'm sure no regular breakdown happens, but in exchange, our experts predict our production speed will be reduced, which we do. Reliable models? Reliability isn't an issue. We can swarm the enemy with tanks. That's focused on reliability. Also, off screen, it's 1945 now, but uh, I decided, you know what, screw with all the stuff we're taking, I'm just going to give um, like a couple African states, like a lot of territory. I took out all of Middle Africa, and then gave them all the territory. I courted too, because I don't want them to release anything, but... Um, yeah, I just got tired of it, so. But yeah, not bad. That's 45. Uh, anything else here? German Empire. Wow. That's a lot of casualties. We're still not even on the map with them. Uh, that part of Japan is at war with them, too. Let's see. Not too much else has really happened here. As you can tell, they're in Africa as well. It's trying to beat up Ethiopia. So we'll split this with J Japan. Actually, Island with Japan would be really good. Arabian Federation. This is... What is this? Ajam al sa Odun. The Bismarck of... Oh. That's kind of cool. <coughs> That's actually really cool. I like that a lot, actually. Rasid Arabia. Yah, 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 Al Hamid. 
That's kind of cool. I should play Saudi Arabia sometime. We'll see. Third International just does not want to die. I don't understand how they just don't want to die. But yeah, overall, Africa, pretty much conquered. Pretty much done and dealt with. We actually have some more of that too. So that's pretty nice. Um, in the meantime, we're still rebuilding the military industrial complex. Um, anything else? We're trying to work with other people here, Siamese allies. And they agreed to us, because Japan did not agree. The Siamese have really agreed to our offer. The buyers are already in route. Excellent. I don't get political power from that. Oh, that's awesome. Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, we can... Wait, what? One of the following must be true. Isn't at war with anyone who isn't at war with the Empire of Japan? So, we want to join the Co-Prosperity Sphere. So, I'm going to save real quick. And see if we can join their sphere. Because this is... I mean, it didn't make a lot of sense for us to But they are social democrats, as we said earlier. And the, I don't think I, I've ever done this. Oh, look at that. Co we actually get better benefits. A lot of really good benefits. Holy crap. But if I... I've never done it before, and so we might as well do it from here on out. So, let's see. Can we actually join you? Actually, you know what? What's our relations with you like? Not very good. Let's go ahead and improve relations first. I think that'd be for the best. So, let's do that. Imperial glory, because the Japanese are doing quite well. And there is God improved fighter plans are pretty good. And this way, we can use both of our navies at the same time. Germany is really struggling now. Super weapons on a budget. In the last few years, our military research has focused on the potential for internal conflict. Narrowing our focus and budget for longer-term projects, this year's congressional budgets have fortunately found some money to allocate to a long-term project. Three plans are presented to the military high command to meet and exceed the military projects of our rivals. The first is a rocket by Goddard, theoretically capable of delivering explosives from miles away without risking pilot lives. The second is Oppenheimer's plan of theoretical bomb, using radioactive heavy metals as research in Austria and Germany. The third is a much cheaper plan, as proposed by the eccentric Wilhelm Reich. Like he claims a bomb can be made much cheaper using his own physical research or physics research. Now we're already done with pretty much nuclear stuff because we're already researching nuclear bombs. So, um, look at the Reich's bomb. Also, for the infantry, I did throw on pseudo companies eventually, so that's actually really good to do. Yeah, that looks like a massive fr uh, fight. Oh, there it's gone. The Reich's back is struggling quite a bit. I'm not sure why. Oh, I know why. Because they're out of fuel. They have no convoys and they're out of fuel, which really hurt them when we went to, went to war with them. So, Germany will probably slowly be dying if they cannot fight. But it would be quite the shame if someone else were to go to war with a third international. Hmm, I wonder who could that group be. So, you guys are pretty much good to go. Oh, we need to go to war with you guys, too. There you go. You guys are over here, too. And then you guys have been just ready to go for a very long time anyway, so... In the meantime, how about a couple more nuclear plants? Yes, yes. Let's see. Align with Japan. Please, 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 please. Ah, we did it! We dropped the military alliance. Oh, we no longer have any need of a military alliance with the Empire of Japan. Let us end it now. Gold prosperity sphere is about one of a, is one part about a military alliance and one part about economic cooperation. They're both aspects are overloaded by the Empire of Japan, which looms large over Eastern Asia. The Japanese are determined to fight against encroachment of Western imperialism, even if to some degree it means becoming imperialists in the, themselves. Now this is not, I've never done this before. Join the Oregon Research Group, yeah. Request naval advisors? We could try it. They did not request. Yeah, I kind of mentioned. Oh, New York City, good. Return Chinese, Japanese land. So as long as you don't give them more islands, I don't really care. Nice. Now this, this is weird. The entire co prosperity sphere almost owns all of Africa. That's kind of nuts. Look this. Get, n Bruh. Bruh, no. Huh. No. Oops. War bonds, yes, please. You know, we don't really probably need that, in all honesty. Cairo pack, that looks so cool. I love the League of Arab States. It looks so awesome. So, um. Who are we just flying on, actually? Of course, I did keep Morocco for now, so. Why is the resistance so high? We're just fighting on these guys. He's about promoted. I'm going to go to war with Federation. Why is it so high? 0.5. Occupied is an exile. Occupied is capitulated. Resistance from Casablanca. Compliance goes down, too. Oh, that's alright. There you go. You know what? Since we're here. Where are you at? Um, You know what? That's okay. I have to do that there. That's fine. Whatever. Princely. Yeah. They've agreed, which is good, because they were, they're in the same faction as us. Um... Yeah, it looks like the Reichsback might be actually losing quite a bit now. Oh, Legionnaire Italy, huh? No. Ah, there it is. Balbo. Good old Balbo. 
I have to throw more planes on our guys as well, but we gotta make sure we keep updating what we have here. Armor piercing is nice. Grab some that too. Railway guns, yes please. Ooh, we need way more dockyards. There you go. Couple more days, probably a few more weeks. There you go. There you go. We have lost a couple ships here and there, so. What are you trying to repair? There you go, that's good. I do that, whatever. Search is fine on Iberian Federation as well. That'll be fine. Yeah, fast war justification is definitely the way to go. Uh, Niger would be good. It's fine, I don't care. Yeah, these guys are not going to be that difficult. Chad would be good to kill off too, but we'll see. There you go. Pretty easy. And after that, we'll go here too. Go to the international as well. That's fine. There you go. Stack both of them up, which would be good. Is that the only state left? Yep. Of course, it would be New York City, but whatever. Okay, I'll take these guys out too, but I don't really feel like it. Sure, guys. Sure. Thanks, Niger. There. I don't care. Oh, you can have that. It just makes it look so much nicer. Hmm, you miss anything? Hmm, not too much. More medium bombers, yes, please. Any more planes needed here? Probably. In all honesty, probably. Um, go right there, too. Right to field explosion. I had many delays into several attempts to obfuscate uh, general staff. Villain Reich's bomb project is discontinued millions of dollars wasted on bunk. This became apparent to Reich's observations when tests showed, uh, showing his energy named Orgon. Could induce exothermic reactions that only he and his associates could see. The bomb itself being a hollow show of layers of metals covering the that did not ever explode, save for its collapse when the Reich attempted to destroy it during the investigation. This embarrassment is currently making its rounds into the papers. Not a proudest moment. Well, darn it. What a waste of material. It's alright, though. Oh, Germany stage is almost gone, too. Very nice. And Columbia needs you. What damage is Russia right now? Because with all this fight, I can't imagine they're doing that well. They don't scrape in the barrel already. Holy crap. They have a lot of divisions. So does Germany, but they're out of fuel, like we said. They still have plenty of fuel. They'll probably be one more episode. Maybe let's try to take a third international, and then maybe next episode, take a German Empire and the Russian state. Yeah, because right now, <clears throat> the world is very heavily in the Cold Prosperity Sphere. Their international's not bad. The Moscow Accord's okay. Our x is okay. Yeah, let's see. Oh, what is this? Request naval advisors? No? Okay. Uh, we could do that, but no. We're good. Alright, so how much longer do we have to wait? Oh, wait, what? I thought we were already justifying on him. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, that's alright. Gives us more time to get more guys out here. Get more planes on our guys. Fighters. Not bad. Do that, because you definitely need more planes there. Need more casts. A lot of naval bombers. It's pretty nice. Oh, there's 1,400 there. That'd be good. Um, naval bombers in general. We can throw some over here in the Mediterranean. Safe half of y'all for what? Oh, well. Any more planes, huh? Pretty normal, though. I don't know to give them there. Oh, we're out of fires and planes. Okay. Makes sense. Go with one, two. Actually, for this one. And Spy Master, that's fine. That's good. Why don't we take over the faction as well? That'd be kind of nice. Over here. Some more attack, and then planes. Better fighters. Dockyards. 
Modern cruiser, modern heavy hull. We probably honestly won't have time for that, but we could try to upgrade these guys. Never mind, we don't have enough naval speed for that. Uh, got plenty of convoys. Everything requires so much steel. Uh, get some convoys. I'm fine. We'll be okay. He's level four. He's level six, which is pretty, pretty darn good. Go and repair for now, real quick. Repair. Do that. And then throw you over here. Throw you over there. Nice. All right, so pretty much ready to go. Go and have a good time. Wait, why does it keep happening like this? We should have, should have already been at war with them. But the game says no. That's so dumb. Anything else? We can press, suppress subjects if we really want to. Probably air production probably be for the best. Um, we still have it. I don't understand why it just takes so long to do. That's kind of kind of stupid, not going to lie. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Germany's... Oh, Serbia's doing... They're putting in some work. The Russians? Oh, I didn't realize the Russians invaded the Netherlands or the Dutch. Okay, well. Like I guess that's something I definitely did not expect there. Union of Britain's up here, too. Yeah, this is... A giant mess. Three million manpower, huh? Poland... You guys have... You're all... This is got to be devastating. Oh, they're out of fuel. What's Turkey up to? She'll have its former self, apparently. There's tons and tons and tons of fuel. I did not expect to ally with the Japanese in this campaign, but here we are. That's one lease, which is fine. Never invaded Cuba, but whatever. Don't always have to invade Cuba. Always have to invade Mexico, though. Alright, so we're still just fine. Please tell me we're still just fine on him. Ten more days, not bad. Alrighty, righty, righty, righty. National broadcasts. Army innovations, not bad. Looking outwards, defending the revolution. Many of the rift. Oh, we have to wait. Oh, crap. Ah. Alright, not bad. Austrians lost another convoy. Now we should be able to go to war, right? There we go. All of our allies, and we should be able to do pretty darn well here. Now time to get way more naval XP too. Spread out, spread out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes. Nice. Um There you go. Go guys, go, go, go. British Japanese War, that's fine. Nice. Sink all them convoys. Destroyers, very good. Now the communards really have to think about what they're going to be doing next, because, uh, Oh, yeah, it's only one sub, who cares? Because now they're in a two-front war. Kind of like the Germans. And unlike the Germans, we're actually moving very, very fast. Very flippin' fast. I wonder if we can capitulate to the Commune of France in this episode, and in the next one take out the Union of Britain, as well as pretty much the other two factions. So that'd be great if we could. Planes here and there, that's fine. Oh, yeah, South America, too. Forgot about that. Are you guys going in? Yeah, that's good. 
Fall of Gibraltar is great, great, great. Are we at war with you guys too? No. Wow. Fourth of July once again. What's happening over here? Where are our planes? The planes should already be in here. A lot of convoys. Mm, German Empire still expanding, it looks like. Just a little bit. Oh. 35 days, not bad. Philippines joined us. Yeah, they should be under us, but whatever. How are we doing against these guys? 131,000, not bad. Coming to France. We killed 82,000 of them already. Nice. Chile. 34,000. Pretty decent so far. Pretty darn decent. Some more propaganda. Um. Sure. Thought you were already in the war with us, but whatever. Oh. A little bit of lag. Lost some subbies. We should have some planes up here too, though. <clears throat> there we go, that Aaron Kelly. Give me your lips. Provence. Alright, there too. There goes Iberia. Awesome, awesome. So that stuff is all done there. We probably should get some better like logistics and stuff. Yeah. Oh wow, that sucks. Even though we should really be shooting down a lot of enemy planes here. Or sh ships with our planes. Into France, we shall go. Better cast. Carrier fighter threes. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. The Dutch are... I thought they were already gone, but okay. Now we have no more Chromium. Big sadness hours. Until we take them out. Then we'll be fine. Where are we at for this? Losses. Mostly against Middle Africa. Wow. No, oh, France is still going to lose. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Where are the motorized? Oh, you're still down here. That's so stupid. Who owns this? No wonder it's taking forever. Who the heck is this stupid putrid green color? Must be Italy or something. Nice. Wow, we lost 48 planes. That's really bad. Sunk a lot of enemies, though. Which is really good, but still. Very costly. Nice. There they go. I don't know what's taking them so long. Wow. Force it. Fall of Hong Kong. It'll be a very, very co prosperity sphere world by the time I'm done here. Nice. Yeah, now France is really starting to hurt.
Look at all those divisions. Oh, oh, just destroying divisions like crazy. Oh, and they all died. Yay! Thank you, Monrovia. Liberia's gone. Thank you very much, Liberia. Actually, if anything... I probably want to take out Italy as well since we're here. Oh. No, I don't... What? It's dumb. Let's come on up and help out. Crud muffins. We're actually invading Guyana? Oh, look at that, huh? Go figure. Where y'all go? Oh, you're down here, huh? That's fine. Manchuria, nice. Wow. Just destroying ships like crazy now. Transmitter's been called in. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, there's that one, guys, I guess, again. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. More shells. One more recon. Wow. Just tons of stuff getting chucked at the enemies. How much, how much have we actually blown up? Almost 3,800. Holy crap. No, I'm done with infantry. Oh, motorized. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of motorized. Can we assume faction control sometime? It's kind of nice. All the way in if we can. And all the way down here too. Now they finally met us. They got some good amount of that. They got some of that. I think they're still going to lose in the end, even though they may have superiority right now. I don't think in the end they'll be able to hold out at all. Three-way war. And that's what we like about it. Nice. Better engineers. Oh, there goes those guys. Good. Paris this episode. We are going to get Paris no matter what. Oh, there goes those guys. That's really good, actually, too. Oh, I forgot about that, too. My bad. No, we didn't get that one done. Darn it. There they go. That's what I wanted. 
Lions Bologna. Nice. Well, oh, I accomplished what we wanted in this episode. In the next episode, holy crap. We're going to be finishing them off a whole, pretty much entire third international, as well as a Reich's Pact, and maybe even Russia. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I want to make this a very, very, very co prosperity sphere. Rest of the campaign and your day. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.